and bring you a gift and do all these good things to you. Amen. But it says, praise the Lord. Praise, O ye servant of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. The Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord inhabits the praises of the people. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. And he says, the Lord is high above all nations and his glory above all heaven. Who is like unto the Lord our God? Who dwells on high? Who humbles himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? There we go. He rises up the poor out of the dust yeah. and lifted the needy out of the dumb hill. That's about as low as you can go in. That he may, you're going to put a crown on him, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. If we get to praise God, we can receive great expectations from it. Amen. Come on, let's get to our feet. The praise team coming back. We're going to praise God some more. Amen. Hallelujah. Trust and believe, my friend. You will be a 
Oh, I'm happy about Jesus tonight. Anybody happy about the Lord? Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Knowing Jesus is better than money in the bank. Knowing Jesus is better than good health. Knowing Jesus is better than obedient children. friends ever since. Amen. Amen. I mean, I'm talking about after the first meeting after I met him, that very same week, he came to my house to visit. And we've been friends ever since. Even though he's all, he was all the way in Grambling and I was all the way in Los Angeles, that didn't mean nothing. We stayed in contact with one another. Amen. Then I moved a little bit closer, but he's still six and a half hours away. So it's, so it's still bittersweet. Amen. But he's been preaching the gospel since he was 17 years old. He's a bona fide evangelist. Throughout his entire adult life, he's never had a nine to five. He's been a full-time evangelist, living and walking by faith and not by sight. You don't meet too many brothers like this. Not today. You don't meet too many like this today. He live, he live out in the country. He gonna tell you about it. He's extrovert. He gonna tell you what's on his mind. <laughs> He's funny, but he tells the truth. He loves the Lord. He's coming to us from Grambling, Louisiana. A Louisiana tornado, the Prime Minister of Abstinence. The man has been single all his life. He's been married to Jesus. Say amen, somebody. Amen. His, 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 his house is fixed up in such a way that when people drive by, he got so many signs out in the front talking about. Uh, turn from sin and turn to Jesus, you know. Uh, 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 Jesus will set you free. I mean, he just got all kind of signs out in the front. People think it's a church. But that's where he lives. That's the, that's the international headquarters for end time gospel ministries. Everybody, let's say praise the Lord as we receive none other but one of the only evangelist, Larry G. Rome. Let's say praise the Lord. Let's hear that. You hear me? I'm used to the hand mic. Yes, sir. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for these people. We thank you for what you're going to do. We thank you for you set up a place for just the time as this that God might use us for his glory. Might be driven back, and that we might save a multitude. Yeah. It's time if the church don't stand now. It's too late. Lord, now in Jesus' name, 
Be thankful for what you're going to do in these last days. Somebody say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. Y'all can laugh y'all blues away. Why are you miserable? A merry heart doing good like a what? When you was with Leroy, you was giving it all the time. Not only was you giving it, you was having his babies. Then when you finally come to class, you drag up in here and want a pity party. Honey, the pity party is over. Cause this house belongs to Jesus. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. These words will set you free. Amen. You know why you're miserable? Cause you want to be miserable. Yeah. Jesus didn't come to make you miserable. He come to set you free. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor, be know me just like a brother to me. I've been happy when I was broke. But I was broke enough to have enough God. I didn't want food stamps because I knew one day God was going to bless me. You get me into the world system, that's when you ain't got nothing. The world system was designed to stop God's people from being blessed. We give you some a food sale. We give you a medical call. We give food. We give you a free sale home. We got a generation right now. Girls are getting pregnant to get an extra hundred and fifty dollars. Man, look here. That's right. Have you seen these babies lately? I'll pay you five hundred dollars just to keep the baby over there. One in fifth ain't no money to raise a child. And you let the world system mean it too? If a man don't work, he shouldn't what? Eat. Half the country don't work. We gonna have a vibe in this country. Half this country don't work. 50 million on food stamps. And I'm not no preacher to step, sit up here and prophesy to get your five dollars. You ain't got enough money. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. We didn't prophesy the line. He didn't look two hours out of folk. Now these folks still broke and crazy. Come on. Come on. God gonna bless your sister. The sister is shacked up. The sister is living in sin. I don't let God anoint me to bless her when God says she better repent. Y'all was looking at me, I could have been a multi-millionaire. All I had to do was turn into Jesse Jackson and Al Shaw. <laughs> All I had to do was tell black folk how white folk is holding you down. You can't get no bad stuff. I would have been lying like a devil and I would have been a millionaire. All right, all right. My mother gone on. Be with the Lord. And this is what my mama told me. I said, Mama, Mama, I'm catching it. Mama, what to do? Mama was about the smartest woman in the world. I go straight to Mama. I'm about to pass all the preachers. I went to Mama. Mama, what is it? Mama said, it's what you're saying. When you live for this truth and God got a hold to you, you're going to have problems with church folk, family folk. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You're going to have problems with folk when you follow Jesus. All right. All right. That is right. Here 
crop wrong. Get my put a fire. Give me a good reader. So I can read good now. Because my daddy was a teacher. You start saying eight and all that sound like daddy, and they got their hands on you. Boy, I taught you how to read, sir. Let me tell you something about my daddy. Educator. Right? He turned he died right before he turned nine. Then he taught Sunday school in the Baptist church for about 30 years. God gave me the privilege to be in the room when my dad repeated. I ain't talking about something. Uh, he repeated and accepted Christ as his Savior. Yeah. He didn't go teaching Sunday school, what I'm saying? Trying to please folks. And you know what the problem with us? We're trying to please people. Church folks, we be lying and trying to please people. Because God can't see our hearts. I mean, God see our hearts, but your brother might even see your heart. Some of our hearts are so cold. I told the pastor, Mom, and Dad. And then when he called me back, he was almost right there in ground. I almost cried. He said, come up here. And he was already right there. I'm going to say all this stuff since my family ain't here. I'm delivered from family. Amen. Oh. Some of these folks need to be delivered. <laughs> <laughs> you wrong. Saying those sweet say, See, see. Y'all yeah, 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 can't have God and the Word and the Holy Ghost and be a mean person. Come on. Because people are going to judge me by my outward expression. Yes. And we got a world out there. It's sad they have to watch it. That's sad. I'll be calling to Jesus. I don't know if y'all know that. Pastor, anybody read this? Can this man of God be the next president of the United States of America? Evangelist Larry G. Rome, the loser on a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> now, anybody read this up to me? Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. Blacks didn't take this serious. White folks say if you run, we'll support you. See, black folks ain't serious. I wasn't laughing about this. You voted for Obama. And now some of you don't, look, you need a man that's saved, filled with the Holy Ghost and no God. The Lord will stand for the Bible, the church, and the nation of Israel. And right now, you don't have that. 
President said when he was writing, y'all folks, y'all clinging to y'all Bibles and guns. He was making mockery of the church. But we so messed up, I said, we don't care. Y'all have messed me up so now I'm not even black. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't identify with hateful folk. All right. All right. Rob, right now, if me and you got in your nice car and drove to Mississippi and the Ku Klux Klan showed up, I'm white. <laughs> I got a new car, y'all. New rolls, real fans. <laughs> we got power. All right, sir. Give <laughs> me a read it. You want to read it? He said, no, I'll just read. She finna read. This is this is my this is my platform. You want to stand up? You want you to relax? This is the platform. Now, the only ways I can't run, somebody got to walk up and back me. All the white folks. See, y'all don't know, they came to my house. Rob, they knocked on my door. Y'all got to say, this is the last day now. It is. Man, I'd have a revival. White House, we'd be having prime meeting and revival. Amen. If, if, if the Secretary of State be speaking in tongues, we'd be casting devils out of the house. And I put me a big old cross. You know that cross y'all got down here? That big old cross. I put it right there in the body, right on the front. So all the nations are come saying this nation is a, this miracle, it's about Jesus. All right. Mr. President, why did you bark out the National Day of Prayer? But then when Ramadan showed up, you brought the Muslims into the White House. Y'all ain't gonna say that to me. I don't care. Is he preaching? Hello? I'm one of the preachers going to tell me to tell you the whole story. What's going to happen? Let me tell you something. Islam going to take over America. Look at them just sitting here. They, they, ISIS says they're going to put our flag in New York and over the White House. And they marching, cutting off heads and baby heads, stepping behind people, lining them up, shooting, putting a bullet right behind their head. And we down here to bind down the hall. Let, let, me, let me just say what most preachers would not say. Islam is a satanic, demonic religion from hell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. It's designed to trap and bind folk yes, and send them into an eternity of a lake of fire. Yes. All right. And we right. most of our preachers today, we sitting around here, as long as we can get some tithes and offerings out the Muslims. Yes. We ain't gonna say that. Mm. Because what happened, the transition through the church world, Satan pushed the prosperity message. See, I didn't need no prosperity message to prosper, but preachers found out if I use it, I get more money. Right. So over about the last 35 years, we've been talking about money, cars, oh, business, oh, holiday, yes. Yes. Let me tell y'all something. People, you don't have to worry about this stuff. I was just telling the pastor, I was that close to a Rolls Royce. I'm not out here praying for no Rolls Royce. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was this close to a Rolls Royce. The white man says, I want you to have it. Yes. So I had to figure out, I made him a little offer. $2,000. Yeah. He said, what's your name? The black brother that was over his affairs, within about 48 hours after he found out the white brother was going to give it to me, the brother sold it. I don't trust black people. And <laughs> 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 it hurt. When the white brother heard about it, it hurt him. It didn't bother me. I just wrote black something. My, my, when I wrote my book, I went to Memphis with my book. They say, you're sitting on a gold mine. They say, your book got one problem. Where's my book at? Some of y'all got my book. Y'all should be buying boxes of books. Come on, pray, Lord. Everything getting pregnant. You better do something. Be <laughs> right. See, black folk hated me by writing a book about Leroy. Because to them, Leroy was a black name. They were, I, that's the name the Lord gave me, Leroy. Leroy was everywhere anyway. <laughs> but watch this. We would rather for Leroy to risk one while and destroy our kids, and we don't go nothing against him. Let me tell you something.
church. You weren't designed to sit up in the church and look pretty. That's right. yeah. You were designed to get the power of God and go out there and do some work for God. And so you're sitting on a gold mine, one problem, you're black. I didn't get the revelation of it right there, but I found out. Blacks don't talk about sex too much. But we don't mind watching it on TV. Okay. Okay. Is anybody going to hear me tonight? We don't mind watching it in movies. And now Hollywood is blaspheming God's name all over the world. You can't hold on to movie now when I say Jesus Christ saw me for the God. Look at that. Why don't we just bark out? Yes. Amen. You know why we don't bark out? I'm going to tell you why. We in bondage. Yes. You like the same thing the world do. You watch the same thing the world do. Jesus, but you're doing the same thing same. in the world. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Go ahead, please. Y'all? Everybody say amen. Amen. Can this man of God be the next president of the United States of America? Answer the question. Yes. yes. Evangelist Larry G. LeBron, the Louisiana tornado. Girl, I'm a, you gonna be the secretary. Keep on <laughs> Freedom over socialism. What is it now? Freedom over socialism. Freedom over socialism. Let me tell you something. You know what socialism is? Yeah. Socialism is next to communism. You take what somebody got and spread it over here. That's not biblical. One man working at one tunnel, one man working at five. The old man worked the hard got ten. God said, take it from that joke over there that, that, that he and his one, take it from that lazy rascal and take it and give it to the one that had ten. That don't sound like that don't sound like being fair. God said, give it to the worker. Right. We didn't serve and buried our gifts. God has blessed us. Amen. Amen. See, I can marry a white woman now. I own the land and I own all the buildings on the land. Come on, preacher. Talk to him. See, before you marry a white woman, you better make sure you own everything. I'm talking about it at the courthouse. See, when you're dealing with folk in business, especially black folk, you got to have it signed, legal, in the courthouse, approved and stuff, because if it's just word of mouth, that don't mean nothing. Folk die, we're going to sell it all. No. I would tell you what went on in the family meeting, but I don't think y'all can handle it because I couldn't. I, I got up at the family meeting a day before we buried my mama, walked out of there. They didn't see me no more till the next day. Because I don't hardly sit up all the pictures. Why should I? I let the Lord go pay my belly. But if he tell me to say something, I speak for him. Now, if you got a problem with the truth, you just gonna have to just die like Amen. Grandma said if the truth kill a man, let him die. I'll tell you what happened. In one of the cases. I borrowed it. I went to a, a lady I knew. I said, give me $1,500. She gave it to me. I went to somebody else. I told the man, I just borrowed $1,500. He said, meet me in Walmart. In the park. I went to Walmart. It's a white brother. Went to Walmart. That white brother gave me $1,500. I ain't talking about it. Wasn't no payback. I'm giving it to you. She went back to the back lady. She said, God with you. Then, I don't know if it was one of y'all, somebody sent me a $25 check. I don't know if it was one of y'all up in here. I'm going to talk to y'all after the sure. <laughs> <laughs> My bank didn't cash it. God didn't want me there anyway. I needed to be across the other side. God fixed it where? I went right across the street. 
<laughs> there was a white brother in there. I said a few words to him, he turned right to the teller, handed me 10 one hundred dollar bills. I ain't finna bought, I ain't finna bag black for one for one more money now. Right. See y'all almost made me backslide. <laughs> I'm here preaching, trying to save me as a young folk. And you're looking at me crazy. I should not ask for nothing. That's right. Amen. Amen. People lie to you. You, you make them millionaires. Mm -hmm. Al Sharpton, they never preached the gospel. But he's a multi-millionaire. Why? Because people are believing a lie. Right. Wow. You ever heard him preach? No. I ain't never heard Jesse preach. You ever heard Jesse repent? The only hope is Jesus. Turn from your wicked ways. Won't do it. Because they don't believe it. Amen. Because they know blacks don't read your Bible. You don't know Jesus. We come sit in your lap or something. I'm going to just tell you to hate folk. Anybody tell you to hate somebody, get away from them. Right. I love everybody. Amen. Lady pulled in my yard. She said, oh, you're a Republican. <laughs> all them signs I got. What? I'll teach you against abortion all that stuff. But I, who I supposed to be? So you, there's certain things the black man ain't supposed to say. I preached against welfare years ago. You know, I said, now if you can't see what's going to happen in the future, our church is going to be full of young girls with three and four babies on welfare, right. still committing adultery with their bar friends right. and don't want to get married. Right. And that's what we got? Yep. Yeah. 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 That sanctified woman ain't with me. You don't have to worry about that. And they did. Mama, let me know you got to live this. Cause you can preach, you can live holy for thirty years. That's right. You mess up one time, black black folk will remember this day. You have to put them all in the grave. They still remember. Never win. Freedom over socialism. America is moving towards liberal communistic socialism. And it's to prove it all. That's where it's headed. Almost 18, we write it, write it, we, really with the taxes and stuff, we write it a little over 20, we treat it in the tax, it won't tell you the truth. Welfare is facing bankruptcy. That's the what I'm saying now, you better prepare yourself for what's coming. See, a harvest is coming. Amen. And many churches ain't ready for a harvest. Yeah. They just want to come be a church member. God didn't stop you to church, he wants you to be a disciple. This church was a day to make disciples. Amen. If it wasn't, then I'm in the wrong building. All right. Disciples of Christ. Amen. Say it Amen. Read on. Christians stand up. I will repeal abortion and same-sex marriage. This is a national disgrace. Amen. Don't y'all shout the house down? Amen. When they started abortion, they had it in a secret in a secret room. They said we need to eliminate blacks. They created abortion to eliminate black folk, and black folk didn't vote for it through the Democratic Party because they was the one behind it. Fifty-six million babies is dead right here in the United States, and we ain't saying nothing. You think the Holy Ghost gonna look over that? The only reason we ain't been destroyed yet is because of Jesus Christ dying on that cross. Right. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 It ain't because we so holy. That's right. That's right. As a preacher, it's a lot of things I can say to make folk mad at me, but I have to deliver myself. Yes. Most preachers won't do it. I've been a lot of preachers. Some of my, I, was, I went about 85 miles from my house not too long ago. One of the preachers been around for years. And he said, man, we don't even want to talk about hell anymore. Yeah. What are we doing? Right. Yeah. Joel Osteen say, look, I don't want to talk about no sin. I want to preach the happy life. Well, how can you be happy with sin all in your life? You can get 30,000 folk in a building if you take that Bible and twist it and twist it where these wicked folk can understand they can live in their sins, do what they want to do, and still call themselves Christian. Somebody need to write a book on a Bible Christian. What it is to be a New Testament Bible Christian? Because this generation didn't forgot. 
if I had to come back and live my life over again, I would do the same thing. Sixteen kids out of red life. Who made them a deacon? If I would have been a pastor, it'll took him about a day to swim by the oil I was going to put in the tub and I'm going to baptize him in. We take him down real deep. And we gonna hold him down there until he gets some tongues and get some power. Cause if you let a demon like that run loose in the church, he gonna start messing up for it. Stay with that. Do y'all know what's happening in the school system? I went up. Mama saw go back. I went to the president, you know, they got a woman president at the Grand State University. And I, I stood right there. This the secretary know me. I've been to their church and stuff. I wanted to talk to her. She went in. Now, I talked to one of the top black girls at the school. Her dad passes a full gospel church. You know what she told me? I'm hit on by girls. She's yeah. Miss Graham, the beautiful black girl. Yeah. Why are lesbians attacking her? Right. Mm. Right. Now, now, wait, I ain't through with y'all yet. Don't, don't nobody tie them and burn me up yet. Miss <laughs> Graham, y'all say get educated. She's smart and good looking. Love the Lord. She's been attacked by lesbians on a prestigious black university. And black folk don't say nothing. Yeah. That's the reason I'm vanilla yellow. <laughs> I ain't going back over there to the hood. I'm staying out the hood. <laughs> how do you sit there? I told one woman, how do you sit there? You got printed out of red like garden for gay. But you sit there and watch the same thing happen to your daughter. That's how we leave, boy. They fooled around, start fooling with sex. They played around, my mother, my She had one baby. You kept watching. She had a letter. Now she married some thug. They over there miserable. I told her, I ain't coming to the wedding. See, I go to the wedding for what? They need counseling. And I'm talking about biblical counseling. Marriage ain't for children. Marriage is for some adults. They got some sin. Right. <laughs> now she got three, three gang girls there. She got sleep, sleep, sleep. I told her, ain't ready no I'm still trapped. I don't care how old I get. I'm still trapped. Even if I got to get in the car and drive around the house, I'm still trapped. <laughs> it's a shame that I've preached these many years, and a lot of those pastors, they never said I preached wrong, my doctrine was wrong. It stayed in shifted. One preacher told me, he's on TV. A friend of mine, I preached, I ran a revival. He said, the church has shifted. Shifted. You passing these people, they shifted well. The Bible said his word is forever settled in heaven. That Bible don't change. You might want to change it. Don't you know to take a word out that book, God can take your name out the book of life? Yeah. Leave the book alone. Either do it or leave it alone. Say that. Preachers are twisting everything, twisting it, breaking it down for everybody. One preacher said everybody. Colton Pearson said, I was with Carl. I knew he was going off. Yeah. I took him out. I took him. I took him to, uh, to the airport. He was going off then. If you're preaching, he was the person saying. Everybody gonna be saying. Carlton says, I know what I'm saying ain't in the Bible, but I believe I'm right. He was wrong then. That was right right there. He just put his word over the Bible. Trust for what the hell I like about pastor? We love Bible study. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. We should have Bible study. Yeah. Get your Bible. Follow me. Follow me, Jesus. Give me first hand. Second commandment. Come on out. I don't want to have you walk out of here 
and talk crazy. You get in a conflict with something, I want you to talk Bible to them. That's what I'm teaching you. And then no more they get some heat and don't love God until I learn it. But I rescue him. Let the police rescue him. <laughs> Now, see, I'm caught between a dilemma. What is it? Back when I got saved, they fasted and prayed. I could hear a man like Pope preaching go three days without eating. I didn't eat meat. See, nowadays, y'all get excited and find chicken wings when y'all get <laughs> Y'all trying to find wings and some barbecue. We fasted sometimes seven days. I didn't eat, just fast, crying out to God. That's what keeps us. But that's what I ain't desire to get nobody praying now. I'm just glad to be breathing. <laughs> because I knew back then I have to keep my flesh under subjection. Yeah. And I'm good, how good you preach. That's what preaching preach to these walls move, but they can't hold his body down. Yeah. And once you yeah. mess up the reputation of the body, that's all folks gonna remember. Yeah. Yeah. King David, King David, King David loved the Lord, but it's recorded to him about the lot, the the the, the, uh, uh, the the sheep and all that. God recorded it because no matter how much he loved it. Look what that sin brought him. Not only did he bring adultery, he, he killed a husband. Yeah. And I never wanted another man's wife. You didn't turn his hair gray. <laughs> that man's hair was black a few years ago. Now, what I want with you? We could have had this reviving these young folk. The church didn't stand. I was up to, I was at a public school. They brought the cool, they did me just like a, like I was some, some some movie star. All the kids let out to hear me. And I'm gonna tell you what happened. I could just look around and say, that way the pastor in the church. Hundreds of kids. And where the church at? Then I go to the church and tell my, go ye. What you mean go ye? I, I'm out here. Ye, ye is out here. Ye already here. Go ye, ye here. I'm like, go ye, ye here. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Muslims, Muslims have their own evangelists. They sit them out. They back them hundreds of thousand dollars. They keep their, them Korans in our prisons in America. See, they evangelizing us. And we singing, Kumbaya, Allah, come out here. <laughs> While they take the country. Yeah. That's the reason I got to preach now, because I don't know when one day. See, let, let me tell you something. I told a male before I came here. They need to make me the spiritual advisor, Graham. I ain't gonna do it as Democrat or Republican. Because it was up to me, I throw them all out. They, they fight this stuff while the country going to hell. Yeah. Yeah. A country like America, see, it's in gridlock like this. The Bible would call it, it's a turmoil and it's no way out. The Bible calls it perplexity. That means twisted, no way out. You ever notice? Most politicians are scared to mention Jesus. They are. They could have been going to the church for 40, 50 years, yes. but when they come to the world, they back home. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So y'all vote for me because I'm going to stand up and say, In the name of Jesus, God told me to stop. Jesus, the second person of the Bible, God, the Holy Ghost, we speak in tongues and we try to stop. We lay hands on the sick and we try to beat God. Supreme Court, they supposed to be bound down to the church. They don't dictate to us. We dictate to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You call Pastor Polk and ask him, what, 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 what we study? What you, what kind of Bible study we gonna have this week in the White House? You call Polk, you 
called him for that. But we let it twist around and we listen to these folks. When the righteous rule, the people prosper. Put some wicked folk in there. The president said he backed abortion. He still got the black vote. I tell folk, you just voted for abortion. Second time he ran, he said, I, I support gay marriage. Yeah. You know how I many black preachers voted for Obama the second term? I say, you voted for gay marriage. Right. Right. Now, y'all pray that my house is still at when I get back to the <laughs> God want to liberate black folk. That's what I'm saying will liberate you. See, a lot of our folk are just religious. They're not saved. I'm not even judging. I said, you're just religious. You can talk to God in church, join the choir, sing the choir, get a little us and stuff. But you never have the divine relationship with Jesus. I won't prove a sign that Jesus Christ was a Baptist. But they're going to die. Tradition is something else, people. The answer's in the Bible. We don't need it. God created marriage between a man and a woman. Hello? Yes. Amen. Now, now, now I'm going to tell y'all something. Where you seen that sign at? I put a sign up. Warning! Same-sex marriage marks God in the Bible. Right under that I put up. Why go to hell playing church? I got a sign up in front of the other house. You got to bless with another. I say amen. Amen. I got enough. Where will you spend eternity? Cause most we don't. Most people that go to church ain't thinking about eternity. See, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't not gonna stay here for a few minutes. Few, few, this is just a moment of time. I want to go there. Amen. 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 Now, if I'm gonna fail, I fall behind a woman. I'm gonna tell you where I am. I'll tell you where. I, I'll tell you how to get that cover. I say, Lord, now you know me. Lucille ain't coming to mind. So I gotta, she got to work her way in there, work around the staircase, and then get through that man's door. She got to work her way to get to me. <laughs> <laughs> but Lord, if you got a woman for me to get married in these last days, so be it. I just want to do God's will. Because you get the wrong person now, you'll be crying till Jesus come. <laughs> I don't need you to cook for me. <laughs> Take care of yourself, y'all. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Take care of myself. Mama taught me that. All right, read on. America is on a America is on a collision course with stupidity and insanity. Look at you, y'all don't know what to do. Do you? <laughs> read on. Why buy foreign oil? Drill at home, America. <laughs> There's enough oil in the ground to be entertained. Not only that, we could be selling it to foreign countries. Right. I'm going to tell you why not to vote for neither party. Watch this. Y'all live right in Texas, right? Right. I'm asking what's the question. Why ain't they close the border? Just listen to people. Y'all some smart folk. Why, why let a murderer come? A rapist come? Somebody from Iran, you can be a terrorist come across from? Political. Obama feels as many he can get across that they're going to vote Democrat. That's what they oh. What if one come across with a suitcase and set off a bomb? insane. Definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again and get the same results. You thinking God's just going to keep blessing America and stuff. What, what kind of Bible you read? God jumped on his own. He said, if Israel, y'all don't come out y'all sins, I'm coming at y'all. You just, I was treated and drafted in and stuff. You act like you something. God, 
You sniff neck, you're full of pride. They never cry out. <laughs> Who can marry me 50 years old and she ain't got 10 kids? I just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when we go on the honeymoon, we got to get three rooms. <laughs> <laughs> One for us, Jimmy, his two brothers. Then his sister's in another room. Sally got that room and Mabel. And we going to the Bahamas for two weeks and, and taking the family and your mama. Yeah. It should be virgins all over, 20, 30 years old, say, I'm just going to save myself from that. It's not like that. Should be. So a girl today, was it that was the day? The day. She was what, 20, was she 21 or 23? She said, I ain't got no baby, sir. I said, I'm going to ask her, you want to marry evangelist? <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> you find out how old I am. Some people think I'm younger than I am, so sometimes I don't tell. But I'm 63. I don't mind telling them. I'm 63. They didn't marry me when I was 25. I ain't care much of a thing now. <laughs> 63 years old. No kids. And I'm going to tell you about the house. My parents' house, we're going to turn it into a miracle prayer haven. And it's a guest house. I'm not letting Leroy and Lucille habitate Mama's daddy's house. Oh. <laughs> Amen. Make money on that house. That house is about one mile from Grand Estate. Make some money on it. It's quiet out there. Boy, I put a sound. Consider it. I'm going to obey God. Amen. People want to come pray or something? Fine. Leave me alone. I just go pray. You have a key up there. Just come pray. Don't bother me now. Some people want to bother you. I don't want you to bother me. One day they come up there with a little baby stuff. What you want to do? Stuff? She done went off somewhere and got a baby coming back. I ain't going to feed you in that baby. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't know me, do they? I, I would just give a hundred dollars and go find some food. See, you got to understand when you call a boss, you can't be trapped by nobody. Well, say that. Say that. Say that. trap you and trap you. Yeah. Anybody will trap you to stop you from doing God's will. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to listen to obey God. You ain't got no wife. I heard that on my. You ain't got no wife. Man, like you gotta get Go somewhere and buy your wife some food and buy her some some some, some land and, and buy some cologne and stuff and, and be busy. Don't like, worry about me. Amen. I'm a happy Negro. <laughs> y'all gonna mess around and have church one night, y'all. Y'all got the loose up here. So religious, and all that ain't getting us nowhere. We don't get to sit up there and talk. That ain't going nowhere. Read. If lying was a crime, our government would be put in prison. A man came out to my house and they put me on YouTube. I spoke to a group of white folk and black folk. They had the police, see, I don't know what I dealt with. They had the police out there, about five or six police. They called and meet the clan. They had a Ku Klux Klan sign. Do I look like the clan? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. The blacks didn't like what I was saying. I wasn't saying that, but Bible principles. Because we were that one. You think they care about the kids getting raped? They don't even care about gay men. Don't you know two, 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 two men come in this church, they gay, and pastor get up to preach. Everybody God's gonna use it, but he don't last long putting up with it. It's too much men in it. <laughs> <laughs> I could be passing two men. Brother Holly, who are you? Uh oh. Oh, that's your boyfriend. Give me five minutes after the sermon, just five minutes. Matter of fact, holy sermon. In the name. In the name. We 
we have sent a valuable message yes. to our young people that yes. they may look yeah. and the church ain't hard to open her mouth. Amen. You big time preachers with your big churches, your multi-million dollar ministers mean nothing when you don't stand for God. That's right. The time has come when judgment is going to begin at the house of God. Yeah. Well, what do you deal with then, preacher? What about fornicators? What about adulterers? What about drug addicts, alcoholics? What about liars? Satan has put the church in a corner where she don't even want to talk about sin. If you can't talk about sin, you can't get nobody saved. Somebody get me the Bible right quick. Get me Matthew 121. Jesus. We're going in a few minutes. 121. Listen to this. Now they're talking about, we all talked about a storm coming tomorrow. That's like the rain. I don't know what's going on. But I hope y'all can be back tomorrow night. I'm going to go in a few minutes. She should do what? Bring forth the sun. Uh -huh. And do what? And thou shalt call, call his name Jesus. Uh -huh. For what? For he shall save his people from their sin. You got a generation of preachers came talk about sin? What you think Jesus come down here for to put you in a Cadillac? Oh, good. Great. Great. Some of them churches popped up overnight and just come in and say, oh, this is the problem. They had one church called the Millionaire Church. What? Just put everybody in there with broke. <laughs> <laughs> That's another gospel. It's twisted. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Preachers preach the gospel. What? what see, when we when we preachers went to Hollywood, we messed up. God don't need no Hollywood preacher to entertain a wicked world. Amen. Isaiah and Jeremiah, those prophets would come down to Baytown, they almost want to let you. Because they wouldn't play with nobody. As a preacher, I learned either you want to obey God or try to please people. People need the truth. Carpenter's house tell them the truth. Amen. Amen. Girl shacking up saying, well, we, me and my bar friend, oh, we gonna get this thing straight. We know it's wrong. And uh, next July, we be coming out of this stuff. Then a phone rang. Both of them got killed. Going down I 10. Waiting for July to straighten up. You don't put God on. There's a lot of folk in hell who well, stay about getting saved. Just put it on. Read on, we about to close. America and the sleeping church has forsaken God and the Bible. Y'all skip on from it. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard what I just said? I said it on TV. I said that in church. I went to one church, you know, most all black in there. I said, I love white people. And just stop. You should have seen the expression. Y'all love white people. Both all. What kind of Jesus y'all talking about? Right. Right. I love everybody. Amen. I ain't gonna let you hang me up. That's I, I run by myself. Mm. I drove myself down here. I ain't gonna let no little young boy with panty holes drive me nowhere. Drive <laughs> 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 myself. Say me. Amen. Amen. Brother Rama, I know you ain't taking me. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going back in the house go to bed. <laughs> It's out there. Then it would have beat us blind. Bring our boyfriend to the dead. We're killed right there in the living room. He said, you just call the cops, come and get me. I just killed my son. Amen. And his boyfriend. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Them old folk didn't play this stuff. Right. No, they didn't. Now, now the lesbians, I 
I talked to a teacher the other day before I came here. They catching young girls. Eighth grade, ninth grade, some blocking in the hallways, kissing and talking. Absolutely. And you black folks just standing there. I'm with you. Lesbianism is taking over the world, the congregation. Girlfriends, look on campus. Girls are wearing boots. Yes. I ain't talking about you. Really kind of boots. Those work men boots. Mm -hmm. And some of them got the side of the pants. Yeah, they sag. Girl, pull your pants. Yeah, and then they walk around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fight, Tom? Come on, you want to fight? You want some of this? You want some of this? You want some of this? No, I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. <laughs> Church, we watching America turn into Sodom and Gomorrah yeah. right in front of our eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Already there, really. Sodom. I want to do your jersey, an outfit, top and bottom. I want to put marriage between a man and a woman, abortion kids, and walk right through places like Walmart and Lowe's. You'd be surprised. Man, you're telling the truth. <coughs> Bro, who are you? People don't have that kind of leadership that's bold enough to stand up. That's right. It's a whole lot of folks know me by what I say. When I go to Walmart, I can talk to whites and black. I just love people. I said, how you doing, though? How you doing? <laughs> you work at Walmart. You got to be the man and say, thank you. <laughs> you got a job. I said, you got a job, ain't you? And before I came in, my little girl's pregnant. She was sitting there in the chair at Walmart. She worked in the line. She said, I can't. The doctor told me I can't sit. Look like she got 15, 16 years old. See, they playing with sex. Sex is like a little game. Everybody know? Sex ain't nothing to play with. No. They didn't call me all kind of names, but I just knew it. I know I ain't gay. I don't like no man. I don't anything that shaves in my house <laughs> other than me got to get out. Okay. <laughs> Cause the way people think, you got to ask somebody to know you don't. Cause most people got somebody to live with. A person not the one make you happy. God makes you feel happy. Right. 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 So peace in God. Finish this up because I want to okay. go ahead for the next one. 92 million out of work, over 50 million on food stamps. Y'all hear me? What's going to happen when they say, we're not cut off these food stamps? What happened when these millions of people that the president signed, they start going straight to that way for office? Where do you think they're going? Wow. Think about this. We don't mind taking care of it, but somebody come across the border could be a, a murderer or a drug addict. You get him on the county, he's going to get a food stamp and all that. Here's a person in America that's an American struggling, and he getting that, but this man just crossed the border. Now, I want you to hear this preaching. Hear me real good. Church, if we don't move now, there's coming a civil war in this country Amen. like you won't believe. You don't believe it? Before I close. Finish this. Let me close it. I'm gonna close it up now. Over 20 trillion in debt. Uh huh. Lower taxes, 10 percent for everyone. Uh huh. Can America survive without the voice of the evangelist? No. <laughs> See, you picked it up, didn't you? I said no. They didn't see that. No, you got it. The church world, stay with me. Have almost destroyed the true evangelists. <coughs> Name one. Most of these boys are pastors. When I met Pastor Polk, he hurt me as an evangelist. I was trying to pastor. I never called you. I'm trying to just help all your life. You met me as an evangelist. Me and Carl where I was good. He's still pastor. Carl where I was good. We have to try to start because I found out. They didn't want to hear the voice of the man, especially the ones going to tell it like it is. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to hear him bring, bring Bishop so and so in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, in the infamous of God. Whoa, <laughs> yes. <Yeah, yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 Have you heard of Fitzer? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> then we went into religion. No application of biblical scriptures. We just start entertaining. Yeah. I've been to a lot of churches where the choir get through singing. Yeah. Then they start tipping up. They don't want to hear the more. You through? No. I am running as an independent. No, I don't need that. Amen. Amen. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now, you know who made this up, don't you? You. Now, you know what? This, this was already here. Oh. You did it? <laughs> it was in the back, hanging up. <laughs> I spoke, I spoke at a meeting and, and the doctor got up. He said, if this was a church, we know who'd be the pastor. See, I'm on everybody that's preaching. I'm on the black folks that's and the white folks too. That's when you got the black Baptist church and the white Baptist church. If you study it, it's because of racism. They just became, they love, they said, they talk about God, but they study each other. So we go to different places. See, they were one church. For by one spirit are you all baptized into one body. Black, white, blue, green. That's the kind of preacher bring us together. We took the body as a church. And my boys just said no. One of them, one of them just gave me a thousand dollars in email. They just said, you ain't going to preach it though. You're preaching, but they don't want me. They're killing my people too. I said, I'm, I'm going to pray. I got to pray this through because it's a harvest coming. One day I realized I'd wake up and be thousands right on my land. For getting saved with the hands lifted up. You don't have to have a building now. Amen. You just need God the Holy Ghost to move Amen. now. Amen. I will tell you what I was talking about tomorrow, but I, I want to pray a prayer about being, we talked about dead free. But you know what? That's what they always kill us dead. Being dead. Just dead. Worried about dead. Because the world wants us. Here yeah, I am, a full time evangelist. I had four Mercedes. You think I went to the bank and told the man, give me $20 to get a Mercedes? They almost ran me out of there. One time I went to the bank to get a loan. He said, Well, listen, I got to go check your credit. I said, I can tell you about it now. <laughs> <laughs> Used to wasting paperwork. I mean, I'm going to need a miracle. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm delivered from family. Because I sit back when I thought, I said, now nah, I've been preaching over 30 years. If somebody ain't gave you $25 now, what you want? You see the word now? It's amazing how family will go somewhere and support a ministry that they don't even know about to do just support it. And know you and won't get in there. I used to have a problem with that, but I had to get over it because I found out how the devil was working. The devil will use folk to work against you. So it's best just to get delivered from all of them. Well, I came in, I was with a white brother. Ken gave me $10,000. He took me out to dinner stuff. I didn't beg him, though. See, come in, don't beg him. I wanted to. Oh, Lord! No. <laughs> don't beg the man. I'm finna, I'll bless you. Don't beg him. The man got money. I, I was just trying to be nice. Oh, Lord! No. I'm going to ask the man, please. Don't beg him. <laughs> My blackness was coming up. <laughs> don't beg. I know that you, I brought you this for. Don't beg him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> He, he, the man told my Jesse, he said, I just spent five thousand. Oh, the man, he loaded. I, I didn't know he was that loaded. The man got money. <laughs> but you don't have to beg. When you're a child of God, you don't need to beg for nothing. Amen. Seek ye first. Amen. That's our problem. Seek ye first the kingdom. Y'all don't have to seek the kingdom. You don't need nobody to tell you you're going to be blessed. I'm already blessed when I seek the kingdom. Amen. 
Who want to be debt free? I'm finna, I'm finna pray, I'm pray. Y'all sit back down. Huh? Give me a few minutes, I'm gonna close it. Say amen. Amen. Now I could say I'm a two acre step and walk away with money that don't live. Say amen. Amen. People be jealous about you and all that kind of stuff. How you doing this stuff? They think you're selling drugs. You don't have to do nothing but live right. I don't tell you to give a thousand dollars to be blessed. If you got to buy what I got you, it ain't worth getting. Amen. <laughs> Say amen. amen. <laughs> Some of these organizations have built, they promised folk to build hundreds of millions of dollars of evangelical complex and stuff. Ain't got one brick. I told them one brick. Where's one brick at? You're the only people who can steal. And still say, Thus said the Lord. Wow. I don't want nothing from you. My God's too rich to be begging. Amen. Yeah, I drive my Mercedes too. And wait, what are you doing in it? I'm running. <laughs> and if you stand there on the corner, you'll see me come back the same day. <laughs> <laughs> see, these devils really care if you're walking. They don't care if you're catching the bus. They just jealous anyhow. Right. So if God bless me with something, I'm going to ride until you. <laughs> Say amen. amen. You want to be dead for stand to your feet. We're going to God in prayer. Yes. Corporate prayer. Yes, yes. I got to rub you down in the hall. <laughs> We've been rubbed so we look like tuna. <laughs> you ever seen the tuna in the can? Yeah. Y'all God's people. It's time to grow up. I'm leaving. It's time for God's people. There. Man, gay, gay marriage wouldn't be in America if we had some preachers <laughs> and some true disciples. After a while, a man want to marry his mother. What's the church going to say? You got a man right now want to marry his mother and do it legally. And the church that's going to stand there. There's a man want to marry his sister. Incense is coming down the pipe. And we just going to stand there? God did not send the church to entertain. He brought the church here to be a deliverance. To bring folk to the cross and to Christ. Kids need to know the truth. Yeah. These, these, these schools are turning on into perversion. I want God to bless every last one of you. That the carpenter's house can do what God wanted to do. Yeah. Think about what I'm saying. I pray that your income tax be increased. I ain't begging nothing. Let God touch your heart. This church, it's time for it to have two or three hundred thousand in its bank account. They can do some things. Amen. Every time we get ready to do something, we got to pray and then try to figure out how we can do it. We in the end time now. They putting up stores and stuff. Pastor took me to the store today. What is that? Bucky. Uh, right. Y'all been to Bucky? Yeah. You been to it? Yes. I was at <laughs> Bucky. I was raised in the country. Though. <laughs> Look at Bucky. Look what these folks doing. And we ride here jealous of each other's ministry and plus more preachers fight each other. I said, man, I wouldn't call to fight no, I wouldn't fight the devil and sin, so I ain't got my time to waste with you. We're wasting our time. I'm not preaching no more to save America. There's a multitude to reach. Because America says, God told one man of God, says, America has turned to Sodom and Gomorrah. A lot of my, lot of my preachers don't know it because they too busy trying to get honor. So the honor ain't go to me. It's to Jesus. Yeah. Jesus said, if I be lifted up. Yeah. Yeah. We lifted up everybody's ministry with Jesus. The man said, y'all feel it? Don't y'all want to be dead free? Can your mind go to dead free? You ain't gonna never be dead free. Your mind got to go there. You got to believe it to this faith. A pastor came to my place and wrote a check. And they told me, God told me. See, we got to be God. If God don't judge somebody for it's over.
Somebody might have my million dollars, five million. If I run for president, somebody gonna walk up to me and give me twenty million dollars. I made it. That's how you do. I believe 75 to 80, 80, 80 million people would vote for me. If they hear me. Yes. Say amen. Amen. Now they're going to talk about me since I'm single. You know, when Jesse and Al start to get you preaching about me, they're going to say, I'm gay and got my boyfriend. I'm too fine to be gay. <laughs> That gay stuff up in here. It's a man of God. We ain't got time for that man. Amen. Come on, somebody talk to him. Yes, Lift them hands yes, to Jesus, somebody. Yes. Lift them hands to the Lord Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Bring this church and these members into debt free living, God. We got to rebuke the divide. It's destroying us. It's for the home and the business. Lord, we rebuke it in Jesus' name. We rebuke the devil. We rebuke the devil right now. In the name of Jesus. Say that wife. Say that husband. Say those children. Let them get a hunger for your word and get around the word of God. Cut those TVs off and look at the word. Get saved. Judgment is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And Lord, as we bless, we're going to give. In the name of Jesus. We're going to move the church on. We got to do it. This is our time. It's God's time now. Father, now, in your name, Jesus. We ask this now. Well, listen, Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. Amen. Right, right, stand. You in this house. Jesus comes back. Next 10 minutes. You lost, you know it. Step in that aisle, come in. Just quickly. Next few minutes. Come on, brother. God bless you. I did the same thing. Some of y'all, let me tell you something. You say you got saved, you don't see nothing wrong. We gossip. By the time you get 10 minutes off the phone, you can gossip about everybody. You know what gossip does? It destroys folk. The drunk could be guilty, but me and you talking about anything to help him. We ought to be praying for the brother. Brother. Anybody else? Come on, somebody else. You ain't ready. Come on. Next 30 seconds now. Y'all come into the kingdom of God, baby. Listen, people. This is harvest time. Before I got in this thing, I was preaching to multitudes of folk. God gonna wait for somebody to preach the means. And ain't talking about through TV. See, all this stuff ain't coming through cable stuff. So somebody gonna do it naturally. So step out in a field somewhere where 5,000 people show up. The Holy Ghost fall. Crook crunches and stuff. Blind eyes. And them people are gonna leave that place and go take this gospel. Because if we don't, we're gonna build our kingdom over. God didn't want a kingdom built over. Send that thing out. Because this is the last day. We need a loud man out there. We need it. I love you. All right, y'all come. Somebody give me bones 10 out of 10. Give me bones, y'all come on up. Give me Romans 10 out of 10. Anybody got it? Romans the 10th chapter, 9 verse. Everybody on this altar, look at this, please, this. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You believe Jesus died for your sin? 2,000 years ago, he died. He saved you. Now, I'll use the word here. The word is repentance. Re repentance means you want to turn from your sins. Because I find out about young people, y'all know who y'all are. Because I knew when I was already. If you turn to Jesus, you're going to change your life. It's by faith. I mean, it was by faith. I told one of the boys, I didn't go to the Congress. Don't tell how much 